Jesus was unemployed and homeless, depending on mostly women's charity. The Bible and Gospels demonstrate Jesus as unemployed and homeless. His adoptive father, Joseph, was a carpenter, and there has been the assumption that Jesus was therefore a carpenter. However, the Bible and Gospels clearly show that his unemployment and homelessness lasted the entirety of his public ministry. He left the economic security he had as an artisan with Joseph and wandered Judea, depending on charity. Many of the people whom he depended for charity were women. Because his ministry took place in the hometowns of his disciples, it is likely that the group usually slept at the homes of the disciples' family members. Of the four evangelists, Luke emphasizes Jesus' homelessness the most. Matthew 8.20 and Luke 9.58 both record a statement by Jesus in which he describes his homelessness by saying this, Foxes have holes, and the birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. The implication is that the scribe who has just offered to become a follower of Jesus should expect the same. Theologian John Gill noted a parallel between this saying and the Jews' expectation of the Messiah. If he, the Messiah, should come, there is no place in which he can sit down. Sophiologists interpreted Jesus' homelessness as the homelessness of Sophia. New monastic writer Shane Claiborne refers to Jesus as the homeless rabbi. In a book-length study of the Gospel of Matthew, Robert J. Miles has argued that the homelessness of Jesus is often romanticized in biblical interpretation in a way that obscures the destitution and lack of agency that would have likely accompanied the situation. Canadian sculptor Tim Schmalz created Jesus the Homeless, a 2013 bronze sculpture of Jesus lying on a park bench covered in a blanket with his wounded feet protruding. Some books addressing this issue are as follows. The Homeless Jesus in the Gospel of Matthew. Jesus among the homeless. Meeting Homeless Jesus, a journey from believing to knowing. 